Hello again, everyone. I am Edramicated, and as soon as I throw this switch, something wonderful will happen. This thing, so this thing's actually gone past its uh, 20th anniversary, which is rather interesting. Um, yes, we are going to play Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, where there is adventure. Look at this place. What is this? I don't know. What is that? I have no idea. Actually, I, I technically do. As we roll through the opening credits of the game, we're seeing all sorts of fantastic things that we're going to see, do, fight, and bureaucracize. Okay, they can't all be good. Who is this guy? Or, or, or Chick, or Flea is, 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 is the thing's name. What are you? I don't know. We'll find out. Character design, Akira Toriyama, yes, of uh, Dragon Ball Z fame. Whoa, we get attacked by a giant mechanism. The ground erupts, and something spiky is coming up from out of it. What could that be? Look at this castle. We're going to go in it. And look at that dragon sitting up on top. Oh, he's so foreboding with his, with his head tilted to the side. We're attacked by monsters again. Oh. This frog guy has just summoned a giant frog! Holy moly! And he stomps all over everything and does massive damage to every monster in the area. Oh boy, this looks so cool! Who is that? Who are they? I don't know yet. But whatever happened, he just got the crap beat out of him and we drag him back to a, a dome. Oh yes, anybody who's played this game knows this particular scene very, very well. High above the earth, what is this? Who knows? We'll find out. On a bridge, we're gonna fight this deluxe skeleton monster named Zombor. Oh, 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 what are they doing? Oh, kaboom! We get to ride pterodactyls? Oh boy! We get to ride this thing? Oh boy! What is it? It's so good. Yes, yes, yes. We've already seen this. Let's get to the game. New game, please. Enemies will attack even if you're not ready. Well, that's no good. Yes, let's take our time to choose items and fight strategically. And we, we will be Chrono. We will continue to be Chrono because that is our character. Now, as we start to open this game up, I have been determining whether or not I want to actually do the whole speed up thing like I normally do. I kind of don't want to because I think that would, uh, you know, I think that would not do Chrono Trigger enough justice. And you know me, I want to do as much justice to Chrono Trigger as I possibly can. Ah, the bells ring. Chrono. Chrono! Good morning, Chrono. Just five more minutes, Mom. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. <laughs> ah, Lean's bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? No, oh, I... Yeah. Let me sleep. <laughs> I want you to behave yourself today. Yeah, no, let me sleep. This is me in the morning. Let's get moving now. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Do a little push-ups or or whatever you know fist pumping exercises. So yes, we are now in control, and we're just kind of like gonna close the drapes. I didn't know I could do that, actually. I've never tried doing that until until I did this, and there it is. I closed the drapes. And I don't want my bedroom to get too hot. Finally! By the way, that inventor friend of yours, uh, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Her name shall still be Luca. Odd that she has brown hair. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. We got a little cat. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? We got a little cat. He follows us all over the place. He's looking for treats. He's like our cat. Come on, can I help you with it? Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200 G's. Oh, baby. Um, so you want me to help you with dinner or, or, or what? No? Okay. Uh, can I eat that? No. Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go. So this is the overworld, and we're just gonna go straight. I mean, you know, we gotta go straight to Lean Square for the Millennial Fair. I like this music. Especially that part. So this is the Millennial Fair. Welcome to the Millennial Fair! Have fun! Oh, I will. I will have so much fun, it'll take plastic surgery. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. <laughs> she's funny. This is Lean Square. They say people who hear Lean's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. So pretty much everybody, right? I mean, that's the way it seems like. Oh, hello. Karate Gi Bronze Helm. Ooh. We can buy stuff here. We can buy equipment. Get ready for the, the upcoming trials and tribulations that lie ahead of me that probably I wouldn't even be aware of, but I'm going to do it anyway because I feel strangely compelled to. So yes, here's our menu screen. Just press X to activate it. And hide tunic to karate gi. That's a five points uh, upswing. That's pretty good. We'll take that. I should probably sell the hide tunic, but eh, you never know when you're going to need it. The race is on. Be quiet and watch. I heard this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Okay. Buy something from Melchior the Swordsmith. That is 50 gold pieces, a little too expensive. And that load sword looks pretty good too, by the way. I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. I will. Probably. What do you do again? I Oh, yes, you sell things. But wait, doesn't he sell things too? Yeah, he sells things. Oh, he's the armor vendor. So what do you sell? Oh, you sell items. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just get started here. We'll buy ten tonics. Potions, pretty much. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't even talk to you. That's fine. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and hit the A button again. Not enough. Got it! Impressive! I'll put one silver point on your ticket. Oh. There we go. Try it again. Yes! We're in a rhythm now. We got this. We're gonna give up now. <laughs> this kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Megas 400 years ago. Thank goodness things are so peaceful now. I love the Millennial Fair. Steel Runner might try something. Never bet on this. Never even try this, because... Yeah, Steel Runner might try something like lose. <laughs> What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? Yeah, you know, there's such a thing as tradition and, and heritage and things like that that kids like you never respect anymore. So there's that. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Hello, girl with a big ponytail running back and forth, looking around, shaking her head as if to say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Only seven cans. Is that the best you can do? Come on, man. <clears throat> All right. I'll try that again. I'm going to get set up a little bit better here. Oh, yeah. All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> Not bad. I'll put five silver points. Thank you so much. Wow, where's my cat? Oh, she's missing her kitty. We shall go find your kitty. Now, yeah, anybody who's played this game knows what she is all about. I have eight silver points. Ooh, ten silver points gets me 50 Gs. I kind of want to do that. But then there's her. So now if I stand perfectly still, look at that. She just runs right straight around me. Look at that. Back and forth. It's like, nope, she's not going to bump into me. I have to bump into her. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. I'll be, I'm fine. Really, I'm only unconscious down over here. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh, my pendant. So she goes looking around for it. Oh, no, don't tell me I've lost it. Well, I, I don't know. What, oh, here it is, right here. I got it. Hip. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? No. I mean, yes. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Well, why not? You're a true gentleman. Well, I, I try to be sometimes. Oh, by the way, uh, my name is... Um... We shall stick with your name of Marl. Um, Marl, and you're... Chrono? What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. And she gives a little jump. <laughs> So yes, Marl has joined the party. Now over here, there's this guy and that pink bag. If you talk to the guy, no time to talk, I'm just sitting down for my lunch. Yes, never investigate that pink bag. Hello, kitty. Come with me, kitty. Stop blocking the way, kitty. Let's go. Let us take you back to your owner. Let's lead you over to the sta... Um, kitty, kitty. Kitty, I, I need to I need to get to the stairs so I can take you back. Okay, well, I guess we can press the A. You can talk to him again, and he just, like, runs off. So hopefully we haven't messed ourselves up completely. Let's leave, come back. Maybe the cat is back where it should be. Yes! Okay, good. I've never done that to myself before. Actually locking myself in with a feline against a wall. Will you please get out of my way, sir? You walk up and down... And then you only come over as soon as there's a cat in the vicinity. It's like you've got some sort of cuteness proximity thing going on or something. Alright, so now we're just going to leave this cat right over here. And... You brought back my cat, thank you. You're so sweet, Chrono. Yeah, I know. And the cat takes his position up there and we're all set. Yay, the soda guzzling contest! Ready, set, go! Oh, my arm hurts so much from doing this. <laughs> of course, yeah, Marl has something to say there. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Well, you know, I mean, I didn't get this awesome spiky hair for nothing. So let's see, can we go... Where can we go? Do, 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 be, do. So yeah, over there is uh, Norstein Beckler's uh, Tent of Horrors, which I think you have to have a certain number of silver points to do. Um, but we're not going to do that right now. There's not a whole lot really that can that I can benefit from from over there. Hmm. Let's see. Can I go? Where can I go? 
Oh, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna earn up some some silver points here, so that way I can uh, buy up that load sword from Melchior. So depending on how long this takes, I'll probably see you back here in just a second. Okay, my armor hurts like crazy, but I just got a whole bunch of silver points that I am trading in for some gold. I'm gonna go down to three silver points here, but you know what, that's all right. Because now we have enough money to buy the load sword, which I am going to equip with a plum. Come here, Melchior. Buy something from Melchior, yes. Your voice will probably change over time. Give me that iron blade. I'd love that load sword, but dude, that's a lot of money. Yes, I will. Oh, by the way, would you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? Uh, no, sir. I will just take that iron blade for my extra couple of points of attack power, and we move on. Excellent. So now we should be able to... I guess we can't. Hello? They're still setting up. Why don't you come back later? Um, how much longer do they need to set up? I've done everything here. Hmm. Well, I guess we could, like, maybe there's somebody we need to talk to or something like that. Oh, or we can, like, you know, round out our, uh, our silver points. Oh, come on. Give me it. Oh, that was too late. Nope, it's still too late. Got it. All right, one more. One more. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, one more. Got it. Nice. All right, so we're at five. We can we can move. We can move on um, as soon as we figure out how we move on. Uh, yeah, okay, this guy still says the same thing. Uh, how about you? I heard Luca and her dad made some crazy invention. I hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. They ought to be ready now. Make for the far side of the square. Oh, okay. This is going to be fun. Come on, Chrono. All right, we're going, we're going. And Steel Runner still is terrible. <laughs> Steel Runner might try something. Hold your horses, I want to get some candy. All right, all right, jeez. Women, what, what can you do about them? So anyways, in order to be a perfect gentleman, we have to stand here patiently until she says, Hi, I'd like some of this. Surely, young lady. Thanks for waiting. All right, let's go. Got your... What What did you buy, anyway? Did you buy, like, that... Oh, anything in these pots? No. Step right on up. Any of you have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump in here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Hi, Luca. Can you see me from the audience? Oh, oh, we're, okay, we're in control here. Luca's inventions never work right. Oh, jeez, thanks for the vote of confidence. Check out that girl's glasses. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. She could probably see the backside of the moon with those. I doubt that, but... Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. <laughs> yes, hi, Tabin. Chrono! Where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? Yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> this looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. Just hop into the left pod. Will do. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Uh, just make sure there's no fly on the other side. Okay. Oh, wow, that was great! Okay, <laughs> stand awkwardly for a moment. So, how was it? Want to try it again? <laughs> I guess even her inventions have to work sometimes. Uh -huh. And they're still... Oh, okay, he at least says, wow. It worked? I can't believe it! Uh, a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Way to cover that one up, Tabin. How about you, Marl? What a kick. I want to try it, too. 
Huh? Hey, Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? <laughs> Don't ask me. She just kind of bumped into me. Hang on, Chrono, I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Just be careful a Clefairy doesn't get in there, too. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way! Throw the switch! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. Why did the music stop? All systems on. Get energy transfer. Uh-oh. Ominous music is playing. Something on her chest is glowing. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Huh? <laughs> what the heck? As all of Marl's particles go floating past us. Um, Marl? Uh-oh. Um, um, um... Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. <laughs> That's usually what they say when, as soon as something catastrophic happens. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? What are you asking me for? The way she disappeared. It couldn't have been the telepod. The war field seemed to be affected by her pendant. But what are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Well, everybody's just kind of, you know, standing here not sure what to do. So I guess it's up to me to grab this pendant and be like, Send me! Chrono! You're actually going to do it? What a fine lad. What a crazy... I mean, what a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we haven't any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. Okay. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Power to full. Roger. More! Give me more power! Roger. Stop calling me Roger! There, we did it! There it is. And there we go. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono! Thanks! I'll need it! As we go screaming through the space-time continuum, on our way to an unknown destination as our music plays triumphantly in the background. Oh boy. Sick as a dog. Ah, oh, gonna barf. Gonna hurl. But yeah, what? Uh oh. Um, I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize that was your. Oh dear. I didn't realize this was your home, guys. I wasn't going to like throw up seriously that much. Yeah, with my with our iron sword, we are doing very good damage against these imps. As they kick me in the shins, apparently. I will slice them in half! Yeah! That's a critical hit animation, by the way. Everybody has a, uh, a specific animation they do when they critically hit something. Yeah! 6 XP, 3 tech points, 36 gold pieces, and that's it. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, well, there's water here at least. Don't know if I've ever seen. Oh. Okay, a couple more imps. We'll deal with them. Now, the interesting thing with the combat system in this game is that, yes, uh, enemies will, like, 
you know, walk towards you and have to, you know, especially if they have a physical attack, they gotta be right next to you. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that at all. Hey, I learned Cyclone! Which I will show that off later. Alright, got a free tonic, sweet. Anything else over here? No? Nothing? Okay. So yeah, e uh, enemies will have, like, different methods of attack and... Ooh, Power Glove. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. Ooh, Power Plus 2? Uh, over what? Oh, Bandana gives me Speed Plus 1. My speed's pretty good as it is. I think I'm going to stick with... Yeah, I'm going to go with the Power Glove. So now I just, like, keep jumping in place... And yeah, I usually never mess with those guys because that's a pretty wicked fight that I don't really want to deal with. Hmm. Where are we? This place does kind of look familiar, doesn't it? That's a mountain range. There's there's some houses here. Truce Inn. Residence. Oh, let's try some residences. Hello. A millennial fair here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st King of Guardia reigns. Well, at least you're safe here in good old 1955. <laughs> We've been at war for years. When will it end? To complete the joke, 1955? <laughs> um, well, let's head towards the castle, I guess. I mean, I don't have any other places to go, really. Here's the Guardia Forest, full of dangers, unfath- Oh dear, those are all green. They're tougher then. But we're tough too. We shall use the Cyclone attack. And as you can see, that affects all three of them because they're all fairly close together. And it takes them all out at once. Yeah, when you select a character, and or if you select a target, and it's within their, uh... Ooh, I leveled up. And it's within their, um, within the zone of influence, we'll say. Um, oh. What was that? Oh yeah! I found a power tab! What's a power tab? I don't know. That is a trap, by the way. That will just lead to sadness. And we don't want sadness. But anyways, yes. Uh, you can tell, like, when you see, like, fingers blinking, um... Uh, when you select a, a target, that means you're going to hit secondary targets, which is wonderful. But these guys we're just going to take out one by one. Try to conserve our MP. They seem to be kind of slow to attack anyway. These roadies. Ow. That kind of hurt. But we are ready, and we shall cut you down. Goodbye. So yes, another little thing with this is, uh, this is, oh, now this bush right here, let me do this first. You investigate it, this little white guy, <laughs> Kilwala, we'll call him, he drops a shelter. This little white guy drops a shelter. What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness, the, the, un the unfortunate implications that come from me talking without thinking first. Anyway, uh, I cannot cyclone the guy up there because he's a little too far away, so we will kind of bide our time. Can I do it now? No. How about now? No, still no. Well, okay, we'll just do that then. Oh, 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 I got him! I got him anyway, he moved just enough, you fool! It has ended your life. Ha ha. But yes, I was planning to, like, let's play this off of the emulator until I realized that the emulator's sound is terrible. For, like most like mostly like monster roars and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, nope. Holt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Where are you from, son? You one of Magus's troopers? <laughs> Hardly. This kid would never make the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. What kind of a insult is that? Show us your stamp collection. <laughs> har har. Now beat it, shrimp. I'll show you my stamp collection. Stop that at once. Queen Lean! Hmm. Is it me or does she look familiar? Show your manners. This is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. You refuse to obey my orders? 
Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. <laughs> Level with me, guys. Do queens giggle? Please pardon us. We revere our queen's guests. Yeah, I'll show you my stamp collection sometime. And I'm also going to show you some uh, better ways to insult people. Sir, I understand that you are the one who saved my dear wife, the queen. But can you tell me what happened? Lean's acting rather odd. And she seems to have lost her coral pin, which is something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We can talk about this later. Please rest in the nice quarters downstairs to the left. We will. Hmm. Where's he going? The king's room is upstairs. The knight's quarters is downstairs to the left. So he's why is he going to the king's quarters? Go up this tower here. There's a treasure chest there. Uh, there's also a treasure chest here. Ah, here we are. And there's the Chancellor fellow. Hmm... What do you want? Get out of my face! Okay, sure, fine. Be that way, God. Just between us, the Chancellor's been acting very strange lately. He's been sneaking out at night. Really? Speaking of nutcases, I haven't seen the Queen's Guard, that frog thing, recently. Heard a spell turn him into a frog. Do you believe that? I think he's a spy. People say the Chancellor's gone crazy, but I don't believe it. The Chancellor's a decent man. Why, he goes to the cathedral every day. Yes, yeah, because I can't say church, you know. This was this was before those days with Nintendo. When Nintendo was like, no religious iconography ever. I said, but what about that shield from uh, from Legend of Zelda 1? They're like, that doesn't count. Okay. So if we go up here, this should be the Queen's Quarters. And it's another tower, just like the other one. It looks almost exactly the same. Except there's no, like, ominous black crested uh, treasure chest there. Nice moonwalk, dude. I want to do that. Mm, there she is. The Queen married into the family ten years ago. She still looks so youthful. In fact, she looks even younger now than on her wedding day. Hmm. You saved our queen? You don't look that tough. I don't look tough now, but... Just you wait. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, your highness. Oh, great. The music's fading out again. Come nearer, sir. You actually do have to press the controller. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? Marl? It's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Lawful good and all that. <laughs> Thank you, Chrono. You're welcome. Why did everything turn blue? S something's wrong! Um... What's happening? It... What's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart! Marl? Um... Is there something I can do to help you? Help me, Chrono! I'm scared! Please, Chrono, help me! Marl! She's gone. What happened to her? Oh well, I'll just take this. What's in this chest? Ether! Yay! And uh, nothing else happened in there, guys. <laughs> she dismissed you already? You were polite, of course. You didn't do anything funny, did you? Of course not. I'm lawful good. Are you sure? Do you... you blah, impudence. 
I grow so tired of the gossip around here, yet here you are hanging out with them. Eh, whatever. Chrono! Huh? Who knows my name around here? Oh, Luca. <laughs> You're okay. Did you find the girl? Gone? What do you mean she's gone? I mean she's gone. She just like evaporated. Hmm. It's just as I thought. That was weird. I knew I recognized her. Um, could you please fill me in, Luca? And this looks identical to the castle in our time. Luca, please. I, I hate being left in the dark like this. I bet they mistook that girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. What? Marl, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Lee. Boink. Everybody goes through their punk phase. <laughs> So there's Marl's mom, who never shows up ever again, apparently. Queen Lean has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Marl looks so much like Lean, they probably called off her search when when they when she appeared here. I'm having trouble talking. I don't know, I, I blame the time lag. But, but if the real queen is killed... Don't stick your tongue out at me, kid. Marl will simply disappear. There might still be time. If we can save Lean, history as we know it should remain unchanged. And we can stop having this imp blowing raspberries at us. Something must have happened to the Queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Sorry, it's my lisp. Hurry, we have to find the real Queen. You got it, le uh, le oh my, all of this time travel has completely wrecked my brains. Luca, come on, let's go. I, I, I know what I'm doing. I, I, I speak, I speak English is good. So, hey guys, I'll show you my stamp collection sometime later. So I think b before we do anything, we did get a little, I did get a little beat up just trying to get here. So, uh, yeah, let's take a rest real quick. Take a snooze, you better believe it. That's the only sprite in the game, I think, that uh, shows Luca without either her glasses or her hat, by the way. Alright, so we set out. We must set right what has gone wrong. And let's run a little bit, <laughs> because it's going to take forever otherwise. So back through the forest, because we have to. Every single time we want to go to or from the castle, we have to go through this... This this forest. Alright, so she's got a karate gi too, that's nice. Oh. But now there are two of us, so we should be able to handle things a little bit more easily. And if you notice... Bonk! Ow, that hurt. If you'll notice, um... You can now see the uh, hit points of the enemies. Uh, that's because Luca is armed with something called the Sight Scope, I believe. Nice critical hit. Yeah, when when characters shoot and score a critical hit, you just see the screen flash a little bit. Actually, I'm not sure either of the girls have a specific crit animation. But yeah, there you go. The Kilwala jumps out and get another shelter for free. That happens every single time you come in and out of uh, the forest. Don't touch that particular set of bushes, by the way, though, because you'll get into another fight. Uh-oh. Birds. Birds. The blue eaglets. Eh. Almost killed them twice over. Nice. Okay, you already attacked. Can Luca take them out? Yes. Good. Just take you out, and that is that. More XP, more tech, more heal. Chrono has leveled up. Nice. And how we doing? Oh yes, here's the tech 
screen. Um, yeah, this is where those tech points are going, by the way. So I need 67 more to learn Slash. Uh, Luca needs only one more to learn Flame Toss. Hmm. Should probably get into another fight just to see if I can't get that taken care of. And then once uh, certain characters learn certain, um, certain moves uh, together, they can form dual techs and eventually triple techs which are pretty much team-up attacks that do a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, hello. There we are in the cathedral. We want nothing but world peace. Or a piece of the world. <laughs> I don't like this, Luca. This, is, this seems weird. You might like to stick around for the organ recital. It's a real killer. Hmm. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, uh, I mean, delightful looking humans. Luca, this bothers me greatly. Oh dear, it looks like you could use some food and a nice place to rest. Hey, what did you find? A hairpin. That's Guardia's royal crest. Uh-oh. We found the secret. <gasps> Their true forms have been revealed. We must destroy them. Uh, who can I get with the cyclone? Only two. Uh, okay, that's fine. Kind of wish I had stuck around for that one more point for flame toss. Nice. Oh, wow. Bonk. Yeah, if anything gets too close to Luca, instead of shooting them, she just bonks him with her, uh, with her hammer. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. That one's down. Why does everything stick their tongue out at me, too, by the way? Bonk! Mm, that's it, huh? Yeah. Oh man, 16 damage? These guys are resistant to our weapons here. Again, that's probably why I should have uh, done one more fight to at least gotten uh, Flame Toss going. Although with the way these Naga Ets are lined, uh, lined up, I don't think I would have had much opportunity to do a whole lot of damage to them. Um, yeah, I was going to say, Luca's getting double teamed over here. And on top of that, it doesn't look like uh, she's making much progress with her hammer. Uh... There we go. Nice crit from Chrono. Still... Yep, okay, that killed her. Alright, this should finish that one off. Now there's one left. Ugh. Yeah, I say these. Uh, I I don't remember these Naga Ets being this uh, resilient. But I mean, fortunately, they don't do a lot of damage with their ranged attack. It's their physical attack that you got to worry about. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah. One more hit should do it. Ah, she got hers off first. Luca got the crap knocked out of her in this one. Yay, we win! 32 XP. Luca's leveled up and has learned Flame Toss. And the Dual Tech Fire Whirl. Which, yes, that you know, now that she knows Flame Toss, I know Cyclone. Let's put the two together. Phew, that was close. Yeah, no kidding. Ah! What's up? Lower thine god, and thou shalt allowing the enemy in. Thou art here to save the queen. The lair is deep within. Will thee accompany me? A, a frog? Chrono, it's a talking frog! I hate frogs! Oh, my guys doth not incur thy trust. 
Very well, do as thee please, but I shall save the queen. Wait! You don't seem like a, a bad uh, person, frog thing. I, I mean... Chrono, what should we do? We go with the frog. <laughs> I'll just have to handle it. I, I mean, deal with him. What's your name? We'll just call him Frog. <laughs> uh, frog will do. Yeah, look at these biceps. Alright, nice to meet you, Frog. Mayhap a hidden door lurks nigh. Let us search the environs. Well, there was there was talk about this organ. <laughs> Hello. So we have found the way into the cathedral, but we are getting kind of low on time here, so... And also, yeah, let's see, can I save my game out here? Totally can, cool. Uh, we will save it... not there. <laughs> That's my original, original first save file right there. The Queen is gone. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Chrono Trigger. Um, welcome to... welcome to the new Let's Play! We're gonna go back into this cathedral, and uh, we will explore its environs in the next episode. So, as we stand here, ready for, ready for a battle, ready for a fight. I say, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Welcome to my new Let's Play. I have been Edumacated, and now so have you, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Later.